In this video, I'm going to show you how to clean the toilet inside and out just like a professional. I'm also going to share some cleaning hacks you can use to clean the toilet faster and more effectively, so stay tuned. Here are the supplies and tools you need. A good toilet bowl cleaner of your choice. I'm using Clorox Toilet One Disposables. If you're germophobic, this one is for you because you can trash the attachment after use. You can also use Lysol or next generation toilet bowl cleaner or make your own DIY using the recipe on this video here. You also need a good disinfectant cleaner, very important. Paper towel, I recommend using a strong brand like Bounty or Members Mark from Sam's Club. I prefer paper towel because I can trash it after use and don't have to deal with washing contaminated clothes in my washer. That's a no-no. And of course, you need gloves, disposable or non-disposable. Last but not least, you will also need a small cleaning brush, very important. Or you can just use an old toothbrush. I will show you where you're supposed to use this unlikely tool on the toilet seat. Let's get to the cleaning. Come along with me. First things first, remove all the items on top of the tank and on the floor around the toilet seat. Flush toilet first before putting any product. This is a pro tip or a hack. Remove any dust or hair from these surfaces here using a tissue. That way you will not drag the hair and dust with you as you clean, making the whole process a daunting task. Skip this process if you don't have that problem with dust. Spray your disinfectant cleaner and let it sit for about 10 minutes. Take double paper towel and fold it to form a square. That way you can flip and use the other side before trashing it. Begin to wipe from top to bottom starting with the tank all the way to the base. Pay attention to the toilet flushing handle and give it a good wipe because you know that area can get nasty, right? discard the toilet paper after wiping this area so you won't spread germs. Remember the cleaning brush I spoke about earlier? Use it here to clean on these hard to reach areas. Apply a little bit of pressure as you are wiping so as to get all the solution and dirt out. This is a hack or a pro tip. Once every month or two, depending on how many people use the toilet or if you're moving into a new house or apartment, you want to remove the toilet lid or seat so as to give this area a thorough clean. Some brands like this one, you can actually just remove it without using a screw, which is very handy and cool. As you can see, this toilet is very dirty, so you can use the cleaning brush if you have the same situation to get into all the tight areas and give it a good wipe. Remember to put the lid back nice and tight.
At this point, if the disinfectant cleaner is dried up, you can reapply as you go and no need for dwell time. Before you start cleaning inside the toilet bowl, pour a good amount of water in the toilet bowl or use a plunger so as to lower the water that way you can thoroughly clean the area below the water line without any distractions. Clean the inside of the toilet bowl. Start from the rim and clean the water jets and going down make sure you scrub really good the waterline area because that's where the hard water stain tends to build up. Here's another hack guys just in case you have a problem with hard watering inside your toilet bowl you can use a dry wall screen from your local hardware store. For more information check this video here on how to remove them. Here's one more hack or pro tip. If you're using a toilet brush, make sure you let it drip dry like so before putting it back in its storage container. Just out of curiosity, do you guys close the toilet seat after use or you leave it open? Let me know in the comments below. Do not forget to wipe the pipes and toilet valves, these collect dust a lot. Again, use your small cleaning brush to clean around the toilet because this area tends to hide dirt and it's mostly missed out when cleaning the toilet. By now you see the importance of the cleaning brush, right? I use it a lot. It's time for the final touches that will bring a smile to the first user of the bathroom. <laughs> Fold the toilet paper in a fancy shape to give it a nice hotel look. By the way, I have a whole playlist of toilet paper folding, check it out here. Do you guys hang your toilet paper up or down like this? Let me know in the comments below. That's it friends, I hope you learned something new today. Remember to like and subscribe for more valuable content and click the notification bell so you can be notified when I upload another video. Thank you so much for watching, see you on the next one, bye.